Hi, I'm Dr. Rasya Dikshit from Dr. Dikshit Clinic, Bangalore. I'm a dermatologist in private practice from the last 15 years. How is acne treated? Well, as I spoke to you about in the earlier videos, acne is a physiological condition and in most of us it will resolve without giving any further trouble after our teenage or puberty years. But in some people, a select few people, the acne tends to persist for a longer period of time or it comes back after your 30s and it tends to be more long standing and acne needs to be treated. The common thing that I would like to tell you is that we all know that acne can occur because of the hormonal changes. So make sure that you are exercising regularly and are following a healthy lifestyle which includes drinking plenty of water, making sure you are getting um, adequate 8 hours of sleep as well as eating healthy foods like fruits and vegetables and avoiding junk food and fried food as well as sweets in too much quantity. Doing this helps to keep our skin clear. Then when you come to a dermatologist, the most commonly advised uh, product is a salicylic acid face wash which is going to help exfoliate the skin and remove the micro blackheads and whiteheads which are following on, forming on your skin. We also advise a use of a moisturizer because even people with oily skin or acne prone skin need a hyaluronic acid based moisturizer which is going to prevent the skin from over drying. This over drying may actually cause the face to become more oily and in, in fact increase the acne. So use a moisturizer which is a water based moisturizer containing hyaluronic acid which will keep the skin more hydrated. We also recommend topical antibiotics and topical retinoid based creams as well as topical benzoyl peroxide based creams to reduce the load of the acne. But remember that these are actually going to dry out the skin, they can by themselves cause irritation and redness and darkening of the skin. So don't use them by yourself, speak to a dermatologist, they'll advise you on the amount of quantity to be used, how long the product has to be left on on the skin and then you can continue. A lot of my patients also use over-the-counter chemical peels which are now available. We are seeing a lot of patients end up with irritation of the skin, redness and burns after the use of these products. My advice would be caution, please speak to your dermatologist, see if you have sensitive skin, if these products are better avoided if you have sensitive skin and they could suggest you a course of action. If you have scarring acne, if your acne is leaving pigmented or depressed scars, if you have nodulocystic acne, if you have large cysts in your skin, then this acne is better treated under the guidance of a dermatologist. So those acne, please don't wait. You don't want to end up with permanent scars on your face. Speak to your dermatologist today.